This week on Byron de Bordeaux, we start the mini makeover of the kitchen. What could possibly go wrong? I then try out my new steam cleaner to clean the kitchen floor. So hey Jim, what are we doing? We are removing this unnecessary kitchen cupboard. Around the window. To a bit more light in. Yeah. We have persevered for two weeks looking at all these big bulky cabinets around the window. And I think the whole thing is held up by three bolts that come through the wall from the other side. Yeah. A big metal bracket and it holds it from the top. Like also, you've not attached at the bottom, I can't see it. We're about to so, not the usual way you attach a cabinet? Not at all, no. Good morning from France. Today we are tackling these tiles. As you can see behind me, we've started on one. What happened is we removed the cabinets that were just way too many cabinets and we removed, removed it from this wall as well, but there was tiles behind it, so that was great. We removed this one, there was this. So as we are just rejuvenating this kitchen, we need to put back these tiles. So I've ordered those. In the meantime, we're going to, re not very good at this camera thing. I'm going to remove these tiles, half tiles here. So we replace them with full tiles coming up. So we have what's called, I'm gonna just turn the camera around. Multi-tool is from Makita. Now I'm not being sponsored by Makita, however, this multi-tool allows you to cut through this area here very finely and be able to chip out the tiles without cracking the one below. This is the plan, but I have bought additional tiles just in case. So that's what we're doing today. That's one of the projects of many that are happening in the kitchen. So replace these tiles. And we will also be digging out some of this grout here and making it a lighter grey so it's not so stark in the kitchen. Whoever decided to put really black grout, uh, it was a little bit overkill. But this is how we're going today. So we have swapped tools or well, blades for this new butte blade. It seems to be getting through a lot faster. It's like we don't have all day, do we, <laughs> to get these tops off.
It's like an art form. Do not break the other tiles. <laughs> And not the So Jim is available for any of your trade work. Just comment below if you'd like Jim to come work for you. <laughs> uh, I think you get a lot of comments, Jim. Let's see. Gonna leave that, I think. Yeah. Let's see if this comes up in one go. So I bought this Robbie 2. I'll put the link in the in the description. Fantastic. Happy with it. You're just filling up water in one of the compartments and then the dirty water ends up on the other side. It's really good. It's got lots of attachments. Um, reaches up really high. It's fairly light. Um, moves around on wheels. It's like an industrial version, but without a huge price tag. It was affordable for me. Um, couldn't do without it. Also did my kitchen floor. It came up beautifully. So steaming very high. I think it's 90 degrees or something like that. It's really, really effective for getting out, you know, stubborn stains. And with all the different attachments makes it wonderful. So highly recommend the Robbie 2. Uh, definitely well worth the money. <laughs>
One of the most fantastic things that I did when I got here was scrub this floor. It was black grout <laughs> and the tiles were black. And I really think it's come up really well. <clears throat> it really makes the kitchen. As you can see, we've started with a color. It's called um, olive green or vert olive. Uh, it's from the V33 paint range, which I find is great. It's really good quality paint, highly recommended. It's kind of a gray green, but I think it's really nice. Great improvement. So I did the same to the floor of the terrazzo. I um, cleaned spotless floor and then put the wax, the milky wax polish on top. So that will be so that sort of holds in a seal. So you just need to just vacuum and mop over your floor. Just give it a quick, quick sweep. And we're scrubbing the floor. Isn't this light just beautiful? I love my kitchen. This is not modern or anything. I don't think I'd probably go on modern style anyway, but I think it's a great space. I mean, it's really got all the beautiful light coming in in the morning. You can see my breakfast there. I'm just about to have a chocolatine and my coffee's waiting. <laughs> so I might leave you on the last of the video vlog. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Stay tuned for when we uh, do some more vlogs on the upper floors and the exterior. Thank you. <laughs>